Andan. Ja, så vi ser dem alla. Fullt aktiv där. Fullt aktiv man. Andan. Andan. Send in, send to the belief no man. Now we are leaf no man. Oh. Oh. Come on! Up to fully! Scratch, what one? Bless up, bless up all my viewers, all my subscribers out in the world. Hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So we have coming up in the topics right here. We see MC Nofi telling to not keep sting. Give vibes cartel this December and let it be a Gaza Christmas. People, what y'all think about this right here? Diana, next year. Also, vibes cartel. We see him announce Guyana. 2025 is coming your way. Also, Sting promoter breaks silence and address all what being said over social media, saying that they are not trying to cause any animosity surrounding Vibes Cartel show in December. Everybody built a narrative that we are going up against Vibes Cartel. Are we not going up against Vibes Cartel? You get me? We not try to fight over Vibes Cartel thing. Never, ever, ever. You get me? So enough you say, enough you just feel like say, we are going to try to uh, go against cartel and whatnot and whatnot and that's going to hurt us. But we're not trying to play with fire, right? Yo, reggae media, TV, badder than, everything we're bad, and we madder than, everything we mad. So first thing first, right here, Vibe Scottel showing his fans that his appearance is definitely improving after receiving medical treatment since his release out of prison. As you can see, a photo right here, well a recent photo of Vibe Scottel comparing to before. A lot of fans realize that the swelling going away and he actually looks healthier. While Vibe Scottel was in St. Vincent, he put it out that he was seeing a Cuban endocrinologist and another specialist there. So Vibes Cartel already announcing a concert for Guyana which will be held in 2025. Guyana, next year, a blood clot trouble. Go and save up on the money, right? Yeah? I'm forwarding. So Popcorn seemed to have some mechanical problem with his Range Rover right here, out in the street. Well, a lot of people are bashing the person behind the camera right here saying that the way how the person attack, it come like him happy if he see this rich Popcorn. Well, I go judge him and confirm that, but I tell you, any vehicle can break down at any given moment, Benz, Bima, you know and i heard that the range rover them have a technical thing about them so i just one of them thing they reach popcorn and it could reach anybody to arrange them papi and the range you know what they say papi range bro they in the road dog hey, papi they why him they see you put in here oh no no i'm in right now i'm in my i'm in my money now Papi, I did. I broke down, bro. Why service? That is it, man. So people, what y'all think about MC Nuffy view about Sting right here? MC Nuffy tells Leng not to keep Sting, give cartel this December and let it be a Gaza Christmas. So in a lengthy post, we see MC Nuffy put this out saying, Mr. Leng, I don't play both it. I do respect and definitely you're a person who I respect in every way. You're the promoter of Sting for over 40 years and change in my view as your number one MC. 
Sting build me to who I am this day and I have to respect that. Nobody defends Sting like Nofi but at this moment I'm saying this to you as a son to a father if you keep Sting this year you're going to let what you give to your son end up as a disgrace brand. Vibes cartel coming from prison as the king of dancehall. I know you did want him to be on your show but it don't work the way how you want it to work. Call it a speed. He give it to Joe. Just respect his decision as a general to a general. Leng. You and Vibes Cartel have something going on, I know it can fix because I know enough stuff and I know you're not the person who a lot of people think you are. But I can tell people the truth, you're a good person to a lot of entertainers but some refuse to say it because your problem with them is money, money, money. Plus you still have some deposit you don't pay to them. Leng, look at Vibes Cartel today. He is one of Jamaica's biggest treasure without a doubt. I think you should respect what he is doing and come on board to help Joe put this show together because Jamaica need this at this moment. I'm the one who bring Joe to you the boss him as the next big promoter in Jamaica. I did predict it one year when I was hosting Sting, I tell the audience that he going to be the next big promoter. Just accept the new flavor Leng. I know you and Joe have bad blood, but it not that bad. It can fix all me end up in a it because I'm not only defending you, but I'm defending Sting. Leng, at 13 years, Vibes Cartel Nussy Road, just respect who him choose and come celebrate with him at the world I come out to see him. This is the biggest dancehall event ever go keep in Jamaica. This is like when Bolt run the record. We the Jamaican people want the best for him. Plus the vloggers telling lie on you. In that case some vloggers laying some things they say you're going to do to stop Vibes Cartel show. I know it's a lie. Leng pull the show this year and give vibes cartel this december and let it be a gaza christmas yes people so while some people seeing this right here you know mixed reaction we see circulate we have to know if mc nuffy gonna be the mc for vibes cartel upcoming show which will be held on december 31st so people what y'all think about this so people amidst all of that being said in the media we see right here sting promoter went live recently today addressing some things being said in the media surrounding the controversy between sting and vibes cartel concert all right now yeah so basically i am here to clear the air you get me Right now, you know, so we have a speculation out say, oh, we are up against Vibes Cartel and whatever. No, nothing like that. Cause, you know, so we love Cartel. Remember, say Cartel a sting baby, you know. Remember, say, me a baby when me a come and I see Cartel them from a long time. So, you get me? So, we would have never, pick a, would have never pick a war with Cartel. The only thing we was talking about was the date. And, you know, say, nobody not own December. So, we just go out and I say, boy, we there so long time as a tradition. We keep a show every year annually at the longest running show. And we would really want to break the tradition and just not keep the show if you get on there. So we're not trying to compete with nobody. We just want it for me. We want a happy Christmas. We can break the bread together. We keep our show, cartel, keep the show, and everybody happy while everybody can support. There's always some farmer, we call it now. No, no, we don't call that no. vibes in you know, the dance hall where segregate everybody when united we stand stronger. So we don't really need to war each other all the time. You know, says so thing about clashing and this and that in you know, the past, but we don't have to clash all the time, you get me? A part of our culture. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like what I'm here to address as well, an article came out recently. Um, in the star, 
but it doesn't convey what the the topic was or the title of the article. It didn't convey what the actual article was saying. You get me? I was there saying we're happy for Vibes Cartel come out and we're happy for Vibes Cartel to keep him show. But we said, boy, in the business world, space is an important thing. So December, we would really want to get show off with our traditional show. So we know the cartel is dancer right now. Anyway, cartel drop him show, you know, the cartel show go around. He could have dropped it tomorrow and he could have dropped it all three more days for the week and everybody going to go. You get me? We're not go against cartel. We just want to say, yeah, man, this Christmas, everybody come support and spend their money everywhere. And no mash up the business, they are around for all long. If you get what I say, we don't want to, we don't want to mix up on the animosity. We not do none of that. You get me? So right here, Sting promoter Tyer Leng and Isaiah Leng clearing the ear that they are not going up against Vibes Cartel. You know, but it's like some people them just feel that same tension based on the interview Vibes Cartel did before his whole incarceration, and you know. Cho Leng did go say some things in an interview just the other day people might feel like there is some tension between Sting organizers and Vibes Cartel concert organizers same way and people already know that Joe and Sting you know they are like rival well me don't know if them have anything personal against each other because me don't know them but it's like some people it's like them just have that type of vibes there so right here is like sting organizers clearing the ear about all what been said in the media saying that them not try bring down vibes cartel or anything like that for feed them show go on them just want you know everything go well in december people come out to sting same way and them are go vibes cartel show them na promote that type of vibes how it look across social media we're glad them come out and clear the air still because a lot of people speculating you know based on certain things in the past so people after hearing this what y'all think so this elder right here is back again with some more advice towards vibes cartel I guess him say all the critiques what people were saying about him the last time he sent a message to Vibes Cartel. Me go to gym four days a week, over two years me have a gym, okay? And right now, such man I lift 20 pounds, I pull 20 pounds, me I pull 150 pounds. And as well as you see me be right now, I'm stronger than such man. Such man is sick. It's a man that is sick and the things we might do, it is very important. But it's one thing I want to tell all of you. We are make up on a nice and cost bad order and hear it table. I don't know how to pray for this December come for the show. Keep that's all in our head. It's a man that says, listen to me, such man is sick. Very sick. And away from the exercise, you need prayer. When we say you need prayer, we don't mean say, all of us are praying for him because I believe in that. We are praying for him. But I don't believe, I don't talk about just pray for him. He knows the people are praying for him. He must find a little church. I don't say, he must go down Christian and go in a church. He must find a little church. One little church where him know from him a boy. I know some people got them church and sometimes they do it not good close to that church, but them still going to church because they believe in a God a hundred and fifty percent and they know what God can do. You see what I say? Him need for God and a little church. Nobody with a big church because that church are big and two thousand people did and, and the pastor stiff and wear some bossy jacket. Go and a little church. In a, in a, in a, if your neighborhood or somewhere, one little church did there, where you know, say, for your little boy, you know, say, them people, they are Christian people, and make them put their hand on you and pray for you. The exercise is good. Me not say, stop exercise. Because exercise is good. It make your blood flow through your body and it strengthen certain part of your body. Me know exactly where you try to strengthen because I see it. Me is a, me is a gym man. You see what I'm saying? But may I tell you, with all we are going, such man, you need a little prayer. 
you need some whole people, some whole real Christian people for hold your head and pray. And when I pray, believe. Nobody did it. I go and like you believe, but you don't believe. When I pray for you, believe. It's not going to work. Because God can work. Miracle. See some man say, put God by your forehead and, 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 and say, oh God, you believe, you know. Me not see no way where you, where, where you behave like me don't say that man, you really. I said, God, you know. You said from the tip of the tongue, from the heart. So moving along, the next topic right here, Judge Sifts true witnesses in Dutch prosecutors appeal against Jackier's attempted murder charge. We're gonna get into a recent update article we see out on Dancehall Mag. As you can see, a Netherlands judge is now hearing witnesses as Dutch prosecutors press their appeal against the acquittal of reggae singer Jackier's attempted murder charge. In March 2022, the Jamaican singer, whose real name is Sikatur Alcock, was convicted of attempted manslaughter and sentenced to six years in prison after he stabbed a Dutch concert promoter over unpaid performance fees in October 2021. The trial judges had ruled that Jacquier actions were not a premeditated act of attempted murder and he was acquitted of the more serious charge. However, following the sentence, Dutch prosecutors appealed against the acquittal of the attempted murder charge. He was remanded in January pending a new trial. Exact words right here from press officer for the Public Prosecution Service on appeal told Dan Salmag. The process is still in the hands of the investigative judge for the hearing of witnesses. The next pro forma date is November 12th. Yo! Reggae Media TV! Bad done! Everything we bad! Are we mad done! Everything we mad! Subscribe now! You hear 